in day to day development uh, in software development world we have to build lots of different type of diagrams even for the documentation or for a presentation or for our uh, our own application like cloud architecture diagram deployment diagram sequence diagram user flow diagrams all these different type of diagrams we have to draw i mean let's say if i'm building a saas application then i most probably have to write entity relationship diagram sequence flow diagram uh, use case diagrams and uh, then cloud deployment architecture diagram and whatever the whatever the cloud components let's say if i'm using aws azure or gcp how the the components whatever i'm using from the clouds are communicating let's say if i'm using aws serverless for that i also need to draw some kind of architecture diagram and it's really very tedious to draw them manually so the point is how can we use ai how can we take the help from the ai to build all these kind of diagrams and can make our life very easy so we are in 2024 and ai is kind of everywhere so these kind of diagrams how we can make them quickly in just few seconds by writing the outline so we have chat gpt uh, google gemini all these different tools are there is there any any tool which can draw me these kind of diagrams by writing the outline yes there is some tool so we will be using eraser ai that is uh, one of the ai tool that will help us to build these kind of architecture diagrams either a cloud deployment architect architecture diagram a simple high level architecture diagram just by writing the outline so let's take a look so this diagram i was able to build using this outline and this outline is plain and simple system architecture diagram so let's use the ci tool what i'm doing is build airbnb clone application architecture with a booking airbnb a rental platform this is just a prompt which i'm doing to the eraser ai i just did logged in and let's see how what kind of architecture diagram and how accurate that is it is going to generate for us so here we click generate and then it will ask a uh, further questions because there can be a end user or like what database what technology what back and front end setup what features pay payment email authentication mapping scalability all these aspects we are considering and then detailed architecture diagram i want to have with all the information populated i will just do the generate it has created the nice and clean outline and what these outlines are doing now what i will do is from outline we you can create a diagram right so this outline that i have i can just copy and paste the whole outline and i will just do generate so let's see what ai diagram it is able to generate so okay this looks kind of satisfactory to me let me see all the components so considering whatever we have sent as a input right okay considering the scalability uh, fault tolerance the payment and all the features like authentication service notification service payment service it actually used the aws components to build build this architecture i mean i have api gateway load balancer caching the for caching i have a redis for monitoring services i might have a cloud watch and then these are the servers order api food delivery service which has the restaurant apis and delivery apis which are accessing the nosql database and then further api gateway is also talking to these individual lambdas uh, or event bridge like this is a payment api is a lambda then auth api is using i think cognito auth database so this is kind of a detailed architecture diagram i was able to do same let's see if i try to draw this whole by myself obviously it will take much time even once this is done you can actually do the edits based on your requirement it just giving you the sample that okay you can just implement it this particular way let's see another prompt and try to see what it is going to generate so here i'm doing is create cloud architecture diagram for udemy clone application while learning courses platform login sign up creating coursing courses all these features right and it is going to generate me the cloud architecture diagram and i mean this is not a pure high level detailed architecture diagram but what this contain this contain authentication service with api gateway then courses api user api and now courses api user api can be a container can be a lambda we are actually accessing the course db which can be dynamo db mongo db or a postgres and then you are also using s3 storage for uploading the courses videos so i mean this eraser ai is using right set of aws components to put for the architecture diagrams
Now the next prompt I am trying to create for database diagram. So there is an entity relationship diagram is here. You can just choose them and put okay database diagram for Udemy clone app. Now AI knows what is Udemy clone or Udemy. So it has created me this uh, okay user enrollment instructor courses categories. Further you can actually divide these database tables into the multiple because this is just giving you the draft based on your features the the final ERD can be a little different, but at least the basic ERD structure based on your prompt. I mean, that is really awesome, right? You just give a prompt, okay, build with the Airbnb clone, Udemy clone, uh, uh, food delivery platform. And it is able to give you some initial schema. Okay, this is what you can um, manage one to one, one to many, many to many, all these kind of all the relationships. So that gives you the idea of a initial structure of the database. Like another prompt we have is database diagram for food delivery app like Uber Eats clone, right? Food delivery app with all the features, like features is like payment interface, restaurant management, and ordering and billing. So it will give you some database table structures. Like I have a user menus for the restaurant, for the orders, payments, billing, all the basic entity, all these entity relationship diagram we have, right? So we have orders, billing, payments, menus and their relationship like user will have multiple orders, one too many and the restaurant will have multiple menus. One menu will belong to a single restaurant. A restaurant can have multiple menus and menus will belong to the orders, right? And the billing will point to the orders and the payments. So these are all different type of ERD we can create. Another prompt which I tried is build a Twitter clone app with the AWS serverless Lambda API gateway, Dynamo, DB, S3, SNS, SQS and payment interface. What it did is it gives me the API gateway with all these three Lambdas. Three Lambdas are talking to the SNS queues and SNS SQS and then there is a payment interface, payment gateway and the Lambdas are talking to S3 bucket, SNS SQS, payment interface, API gateway is attached to the these respective lambdas. I mean, API gateway just proxying the request to the targeted lambda. We can also create a sequence diagram like auth zero authentication for next GS app uh, with authentication and authorization. This is like a simple prompt I did, and here I got. This is a simple prompt. Uh, okay, next GS uses uses next auth. In next auth, we can configure auth zero configuration. So the whole sequence diagram talks about that, and it also has SSO integration, like how it can be done SSO. SSO will be done through the OAuth 0, right? So all these integrations can be done with the Eraser AI. So I mean, I find it really helpful and I will be using a lot uh, for building the architecture diagram, entity relationship diagram, sequence diagram, flow diagram and showcasing demos to the users or for my videos.